Boom. What up, Solar Renekton? Only we're back doing some more League of Legends action, playing some Fiora in the top lane. Ooh, backside vital. I'm out. All right, we back. Uh, but we're doing Klepto with the new Klepto. It's actually really good on Fiora. And we're doing Futures Market. I'm going to go really aggro here. Getting so many procs. Whew. Not bad. Make sure I get back for these minions. Sweet. He just got zoned from that EXP right there. Oh, well. Not kidding that. Try again. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Let me go back get the CS here. But yeah, going Klepto Fiora. This build is actually really good. With Futures uh, and Klepto, you can get so much gold income in the early game. I need to get my ward down. Just in case. Some shenanigans happen. Alright. Ooh. I was gonna say, right back to being aggro. Then I whiff my Q. I wanna get aggressive on him, but... I need to... Actually hit my abilities. There we go. Use that, walk away. Get that vital proc. Dodge out on that. Sweet. Get level 3 right here. Alright. Yeah, Fiora's really good with the new club though, because you dash auto attack, that's like your entire trade. Oh wow. Oh, that hurt. Ooh. So hoping he's gonna go for it on me. Alright, never mind. He's just gonna back and TP. I was really thinking he was gonna go forward with that, but. They might have Nocturne Topside right now. Although he's backing up, so probably not. I really thought he was going to go forward on that one. I'm a bit surprised. Because I made it like kind of easy to kill me right there. In the hopes that I would outplay with W. Oh, I see the jungler. I'm free to do what I want. Strange. He never uses a forward. Weird. I mean, he probably... Understands that he's going to get W'd. So it's probably a smart idea overall to not use it for it. I just want to keep getting that poke on him. Make sure I farm as best as I can. But yeah, the whole point of Futures Market, the way we're going to use it here, is that we're going to use it to get our power spikes earlier. Those power spikes obviously being Tiamat. And Triforce. So we're not going to waste a lending fee on anything else. That'll be the only thing we are spending it on. Trying to be aggro and get this. Just walk away here. He's basically told me that he's never going to E forward. So I <laughs> just walk away and get all the CS I want. Alright. I'm going to back real quick. Can't stay any longer. This is part of the problem if you screw up an ignite play. Your opponent can just TP back. And then freeze the wave on you. Because generally you're going to be pushing if you're the guy with Ignite. Because you want to get the aggressive play. So you need the wave in your favor in the early game. If the wave's not in your favor in the early game, you just take too much damage from minions most of the time. Unless you're some shit like Renekton who has like AoE wave clear. So like, you know, it's a bigger wave, but you dash in, you queue the whole wave, and it all dies. So it's not really a bigger wave. But we're getting punished here for sure. Definitely going to freeze on me. The jungler's bot lane, so... Pretty useful knowledge. That guy's in trouble. And mid's rotating on him. Yeah, he's screwed. Yeah, he flashed way too late. He should have just gotten the hell out of there. Way earlier. We'll walk off screen, get a new vital. Come on back down. Sweet. Definitely gonna look to get aggressive here on him. Get that proc, walk away. Not bad. You can walk back up and get another one. I'll take it. I'm looking for these Q's plays whenever I can get them. Just free gold. That gold's gonna help us scale into our items as fast as possible. I've been hitting Triforce. Ooh, I should have queued away. I've been hitting Triforce at like pretty much sub 15 minutes every game. Unless I purposely stay longer. Not bad. Not bad at all. Keep poking. This wave's gonna slow push to us. So we can just kind of wait and let that happen. And then fight him as he gets overextended. Then we can use our ult to run him down in the long lane. I gotta get my ward down now though. Don't want to stick around too long without it. Oh, that's bad. 
If you don't hit anything with your Q, it goes on a super long cooldown. If you hit something, you refund 60% of the cooldown. Alright, we gotta be a little careful though. There's too many minions here. Ooh. Gotta try and trim. Weird. I think he did that because he knows I have no help and he has a, a huge wave in his favor. Well, he's also level 6. Did he switch to Ignite? He did switch to Ignite. Wow, I walked into it. Feels bad. Easy. Oh, nice hit, dude. Good try. Good try. I have all in potential here. Link Shrine auto. Life steal back up a little bit. Not bad. I'll take it. I might go for an all in here. Clean, son. That's how you do it, baby. I got his ignite out of him, too. That's how you do it. Nice and clean. So if you want to know what we just did there, we press the R, we walk up, wait for it to allow the vitals to hit. Auto once, Q the far one. Because you always want to hit the far one that's early. You want to use your Q, and when they're slowed, right, with your E slow, you want to use that time to get the far ones, the ones that are going to be hard to hit later on. Because once I do that, then the only ones that he has left are the front ones that are closer to my tower. So he tries to protect them by walking toward my tower, but... There's no wall for him to hide behind or anything like that. He'd have to, like, sprint all the way over there. So we should be good just to clear us out and back. All right. Nice. Tons of gold here. All right. And again, when you, with the uh, futures market, it lets you go into debt to buy items. But there's a 50 gold lending fee every time you go into debt. So, like, right here, right? I can buy my item, which I want. But then I can also buy this. Maybe I wanted this. This would kind of be a waste right now. We only want to use that extra gold to get to our big power spikes. So Tiamat and Triforce. I mean, if you if it's a difference between getting a Sheen, you know, you got to think, is it worth spending 50 extra gold to get this item now? Am I going to use a Sheen right here to, uh, you know, obliterate my opponent? If the answer is yes, then grab the Sheen, obviously. But most of the time the answer is going to be no, and you're going to want to just save that and not spend extra gold. Because the whole point is to get to your item as fast as possible. Oh my god, I'm so fucking bad. I literally have to leave. Wow. I really screwed that one up. Oof. Yeah, I really screwed that up. That flash at the end, I flashed and then I queued and I like went inside of his hit. Speaking of inside the hitbox, inside the minion hitbox, I like went inside of his hitbox and couldn't get that backside. And then I like went too far into the bush. What I really should have done with the bush is warded it. That way I could have uh, positioned correctly. Yeah, unfortunately, the mid is slaying out right now. It's really bad. I want to try and get some tower. Oh, never mind. Never mind about that. Tank top. We can kill this guy. He's doing good. Let me get him an extra kill here. I got a 940. He walks up. Bailing. He's a jungler right there. Gotta be careful. Just gonna sit back. I really want this minion, obviously, but... I also don't want to die. <laughs> it's a fine line. <laughs> Between living... And cannon minions. Ooh. Whew. Lighting this guy up. Lighting this guy up right now. So many procs, baby. Let's go. Big proc time. Let's get a refresh. Get a front side. I got ignite here. His jungle's top though. Oh, obviously. Oh, man. Will this guy ever E forward? I should just accept that he's never going to do it. I'm just never trying to play for that. I just didn't look at it. I should have looked. I would have saw it. I wouldn't have done the dive. Stupid fucking dive. 
I know it's Junkler's top. Like, it's not like I don't know that. Ooh. Nice play, dude. If he had a war jump out, that would have been sick. Yeah, I, I, I knew what was happening. I mean, I played into it, but... I really felt like I could kill him. Honestly, I thought it was, he was going to die to the fucking W. But, goofball flew in front of it. I really thought he was just going to die to that W. And then when I queued forward and he Zanya's the Q hit. Oof. Probably should have hit tabbed and identified that to begin with. Pretty garbage dive. Got the cannon minion though. Worth it. Careful, buddy. Whew. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pop that potion and keep harassing the living crap out of him. I'm gonna get my pink up here so I actually place it. There we go. I got a pink. I feel like these these are easy ganks. But Lee's like putting in work on the rest of the map, so. I don't really care. Keep doing what you're doing, bud. It's clearly working. When he walks up for this, I might go. Just use that moving speed to walk away. I am slaughtering this good. Is that for me? Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck? I don't think he can get me. <laughs> oh, no. I'm still waiting on that damn W. One time, I'm going to catch him. He's going to do it for it. I'm going to get him. I set my mouse, my finger over it. I'm like, come on, W, W. I was ready to do it. He's smart. He's just not going to... It's so easy for me to W, that's why. Because it's such like a delayed animation from him. I mean, if he's point blank and there's like a lot going on, I might not notice it. But like right there, all I'm thinking about is him doing it. Yeah, I gotta back out here though. Ooh. What does he have? TP. I'm gonna sit in this bush for a second. See what he does. If he just backs, I want to force out TP. And I have Ignite coming up in a second, too. Plus, I got team at. Just push quickly. Ooh, I might get tower damage. No. Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't get any of the procs on the tower. Normally, you get those procs, and you get so much extra gold. I'm still just going to stick around. I want to force out his TP. If he's not going to use it, I'm going to get the next wave. Yeah. Half HPs. Yeah, we can get this guy for sure. Fuck that. I'm gonna walk this way. I have Ignite. I think we can do it. We just have to wait for him to shove the rib. Does he know I'm here? He doesn't know. Like, he 100% doesn't know. Whew. God damn. <sighs> so fucking tanky, this guy, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever. I got my item. 15 minutes, like I said. Easy peasy. I should have been alive to get this tower, but I'm bad. Oh my god. He just lives for so long. He's so tanky. I'm about to spend 2k gold, though. So he won't be tanky for long. There's gonna be some deaths down here, I think. He missed everybody. Oh, nice. I don't know how that hitbox got him, but I'll take it. Yes, let's go, baby. Nice. All right. We got this in like two seconds here. There we go. So 16 minutes. This is on the higher end. Imagine if I get like, you know, tower pressure. Like this is for a... This is basically a lane that's just even. This guy can deal with my poke the whole time. I'm getting good klepto procs on him. But this is just a lane that kind of goes even. So if you imagine a lane in which you're winning, think about how low you can start getting the, this timer. 
you start getting into like 14 minutes which is like you hitting tower you know now we're, now if you're getting kills because remember you're getting 1200 additional gold if you proc all the uh the tower plates the boat the what is it called tower plating you get 160 gold per right plus 400 gold for the final he's right here yeah he warded i want to go get this cannon so we had to make you sweat a little bit. The jungle is topside. Okay. Clear out the pink if you put one in here. If not, I'm roaming to get some deep vision. I'm gonna pop this and get a ward over here probably. Trying to figure out what they doing. Alright, I'm just going to shove this wave then. He's moving across to the bot side probably. Once we get our life seal though, we're super free. I just can't get to that goddamn vital proc. He moves really well. What you want to do is you want to like... You want to move the same way I'm dashing. So if I'm dashing from like here to here, what he wants to do is move from here to here. So you want to move kind of like perpendicular or whatever with it. I'm coming here. Popping potions. I can't see shit. <laughs> I can't fucking move, dude. <laughs> Goddamn. Let me move. You should definitely go for dragon. Four seconds. Let's roll, baby. I need the mana. Do I? Oh. That's bad. I don't think you can all in there, yeah. Ooh. Wanna get over here with it? Not bad. Sweet. Get it. Get out. Help them get this. They go bot. I back. I go top. Beautiful. Can you land to me? Oh, no. I don't have anything. Hey, the lantern. Let's go. We should definitely stay and push. Uh, nah, I'm gonna back. They can push with three. He's already pushing mid. I'm gonna defend this. Although, I don't really know if I have to. Because he really has to back and defend this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's better that I stay here. If he stays top, it's more likely that we just take the inhib. And I don't think he'll trade inhib because Zig, Zig's could always back. Plus, I've demolished. He's in mid right now. Oh, demolish is so good. Yeah, let's bail. Let's bail. Alright, now we're going to be able to get our next item fast too. It's 2300 gold. What do we have? 2100? Ah, who cares? We're going to dead and grab it. Boom, and I'm already in debt, so might as well go a little bit further in debt. Once you go into debt one time, that's when you incur the 50 gold penalty, right? So once I leave base, so I have gold jumped up by 50 gold right there, that's when you get it. So if I'm in the base, it all counts as one buy. So even though I go negative with this, and I go negative with this, it's still one buy, so I only get a 50 gold lending fee. So so see how you see uh, futures purchases too? That means I spent that lending fee twice, so I, it cost me 100 gold to go negative like that. But it's definitely worth it because you get those spikes earlier. You get those power spikes earlier and that's really what's, what the dream is. Got it. We can look to set this up over here. So a couple options. Probably the best thing to be doing for me is split pushing. Oh. Trying to see if he's going to move up. Just waiting on it, but he didn't do it. Pop potions. I got his ghost out of him. Gotta be a little, little careful. He's going to get poked too much. Alright. I'll take it. I got his ghost out of him just for running at him. I was hoping he was going to use his uh, W, but he held it really long. 
Ziggs just getting towers on the other side. Good job, dude. They'll probably collapse on this guy, maybe. I bet they have a bunch of vision, vision over here, though. Uh, yeah, we should just go for tower. I want to push wave. Yeah, he's coming mid. Tier 2 is really where it's at. Then we can set this up after. He can't fight us. Just push. Auto E. Big hits. Ooh! That guy hurts. That guy hurts. We should walk over here. I really think this is the way to go. Although we don't have that much damage, but we're very strong. You gotta be careful. They're gonna obviously run. We look for picks first. I really feel like we just do it. I think they're gonna come so late. Yeah. I feel like they're, they're gonna run here just so, so, so late that it won't matter. I don't know though. You have limited damage here. I'm getting melted. I could have w there. I didn't think I was going to get hit. I got killed by Baron, not the uh, ult from him. Oh, if he queued off of that, that would have been cool. Whatever, you just need to protect it. Not worth it all. Uh... I mean, it wasn't that bad, dude. Right. I mean, Doc... There's also a call with the execution. Like, it's a it's a call. Like, I made the Baron call, but you guys also jerked around for 15 extra seconds. If we had those 15 extra seconds, they wouldn't even be able to contest. So, yeah, I agreed. The call's not, like, the most amazing thing, but if you're not standing over here jerking off doing nothing and you're actually hitting this and tanking it, maybe I'm not 1 HP. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. All right, let's grab this and roll out. Go toward drag. I did. I just gotta mute him. He's too dumb. Just to and just tilts the fuck out of me. Tilts the fuck out of me. He's way too dumb. You should have let this guy tank. He was standing at max range, auto attacking from here, dude. And you were jerking off in mid lane. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm trying to tank it with my life steal. I want to do the thing that we can get because it's a free objective. Speaking of free objectives, again, Lee Sin off doing nothing. What is this guy doing? We'll never know. One day, he'll figure it out, and he'll go to an objective. I've muted you, dog. Keep typing. I don't care. What a goofball. Okay. I'm going to go top and just split. Get away from these people. Yikes. My god. He's like hiding in a bush over here when we see them all running down to kill Ziggs. Crazy. All right. Guys, red buff. I might not be able to do this. I want to catch him face checking me. <sighs> I didn't get the zonies off of the fucking fear. I got a bad vital spawn. I couldn't see it right away. I need to get to that vital. If I hit it right away, I like blew my Q too early because I queued this way. I just need to wait, be patient, see where the vital was, cue the vital. Once I do that, then I'm fine. Because then I just Zanya as the, uh, the fear. But I was like trying to rush to get the vital before I Zanya as. Because if I don't, I'm going to Zanya as and then come out and die instantly for the first hit. So I have to have some health back. Just had to be patient. I panicked too hard after I got the first kill. Good as long as I can dodge that guy. Yeah, this is good. I will take it. Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna go top, push it out, get us red. Let's go, baby. How long is that fear? You have mercs? Eh, still pretty long. Either way, it should have been Zonyist, but I had to hit the correct vital first. Like I said, 
panicked. A little bit panicked. Just gonna push this in. Oh, yep. No! <laughs> Come on, I have so much damage and I still can't get that stupid minion. <laughs> Screw you. Alright. Show this next wave. I'm probably just backing. Bro. Can I get a break, man? I'm gonna get a ward over. I'm with you, dude. I'm with you, dude. Jesus. Oh, boy. That's ultra bad. That is ultra bad. Okay. We're just gonna chill. You gotta wait and see. Can't just push here. If you push, you just get ulted by uh, Nocturne. So be cautious. Make sure no one else is around for doing it. Yep. Like right now. Gotta leave. Gotta leave, gotta leave, gotta leave. We gotta wait for this guy, basically. Or these people to create a lot of pressure and bot. And even then, that's probably not a good idea because you're just gonna get. We have numbers at disadvantage, because this guy's going to respawn, and he's going to get here earlier. But like right now, we have a nice little window, where it's just still 4v4. He's about to respawn now. Just want to keep this pressure in. Force people down here so my team can do stuff. It's hard, though. Probably just going to be falling back to these. That's my guess. If I can find a kill, I will take it. Ooh. Fighting. Mm -hmm. I definitely beat him now. He has no red buff. Nocturne's bot side. Oh, that's so big. Just him dashing away guarantees the tower for me. on that. Whew. This guy's thick, man. Not thick enough, though. Got him, boys. Look at all the procs. We have all three of the... Uh... <laughs> it's so good late game. People don't realize, but that entire duration, I have like a whole bunch of those little guys triggering him. Should be able to end here. Oh, thought he was gonna go in. Decided against it. Whew. Good work, boys. I will take it. Holy moly. Yeah, I was getting a little nervous because I couldn't get over to him because there was like a whole minion wave and he was stuck inside the minion wave. So I like, I, know, I had to wait, I had to e slow him and then Q to get that last vital. I was getting a little nervous I wasn't going to be able to get it. Because he was doing a ton of damage, too. He's just, like, Wing me the whole time. Um, give it to Ziggs. All right. I will take it. I will take it. GG. Well played. I mean, like I said, this build's pretty solid. You just get your damn items so fast. You hit your power spike so fast. If you're in a winning matchup, like, this is just an even matchup. So it kind of shows you, like, the average, you know? So this is like kind of worst case, I mean, okay, worst case scenario, you get completely shit on. You're probably getting like an 18 minute, 19 minute Triforce, but if you're getting completely shit on last patch, you'd be getting like a 20 something minute Triforce, probably not even getting it, the game's over, you lose. So pretty solid, I'll take it overall. I like it, free boots, demolish helps for the tower, taking, demolish when uh, you're able to actually push, it's really nice, because then you can just go in, take that one bone plating each, or one, um, Tower plating each time and back out. Go in, get your 160 gold, back out. Go in, get your 160 gold, back out. Because the demolish will basically do all the damage that you need. But, yeah. So, pretty damn good. Like I said, if you're pushing, you can get it even faster. 
just just from the tower. If I was able to push and get more tower pressure, I'd be getting in the 14 minute range. I got it 16 minutes. I'd be getting in the 14 minute range. If you're getting kills or you're farming better than me and getting the tower, you're getting it in like the 12 to 11 minute range. You're getting a Tiamat and a Triforce. It's pretty much game over when that happens because you just power spike so hard. But yeah, anyways, GG Well Played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. I'll catch you guys then. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content. If you're watching over on Twitch, make sure to follow the stream and click the subscribe button to see if you got a free Twitch Prime sub available. You might have a sub ready waiting to be redeemed and not even know about it. Click it now. Redeem it now. Anyways, GG Well Played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.